So what is hypochlorous acid and how do you use it? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the science of this product, plus how you can use it to fight eyelid inflammation and prevent infection. So let's take a look. This video is brought to you by OcuSoft, the number one doctor recommended brand of eyelid cleansers. Hey everyone, welcome. This is Dr. Joe Allen here from Dr. Eye Health. The channel helps with the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. So if you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, at any point throughout the video, you can check out the show notes and links below for further information about everything that we mentioned, including some extra detailed research articles if you want to learn a little bit more. Otherwise, let's go over exactly what is hypochlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid is considered a bactericidal compound, which is effective at fighting a very wide range of bacteria. I mean, wow, look at how crazy long this list is. And it's natural. The neutrophil white blood cells within your body actually create hypochlorous acid on their own naturally to help fight infection. But now we actually have hypochlorous acid as a safe, non-toxic spray, and is currently being used across all of healthcare for multiple different ailments. But what's great about hypochlorous acid, the real beauty of it is not just that it's very effective at fighting microorganisms, but that it's safer than most other disinfecting agents, such as hydrogen peroxide or bleach. And in eye care specifically, this product has been revolutionizing the way doctors manage eyelid health because it's been clinically proven to help fight against different eyelid conditions such as blepharitis and demodex mites, both of which contribute significantly to the development of meibomian gland dysfunction and chronic dry eye disease. Plus, it is even effective at preventing development of styes and other eyelid infections. That's exactly why so many doctors are recommending products such as OcuSoft Hypochlor to their patients to help with a daily eyelid hygiene regimen. Actually, have you ever heard of a healthcare professional mentioning hypochlorous acid before? Was it for eyelid health or was it for something completely different? Go ahead and comment in the section below and let us know what you are using it for. Hypochlorous acid can be made through three different ways. It can be made through the hydrolysis of chlorine gas, through the electrolysis of a salt solution, or from the acidification of hypochlorite. Most companies do not make the hypochlorous acid through the first method because chlorine gas is very dangerous and difficult to work with. So most companies are either using the electrolysis method or through the acidification of hypochlorite. But ultimately, the purity of the hypochlorous acid is equivalent and made the same. So the effectiveness of their bacterial cidal properties as well as its safety profile are all the same. Now, if you've never used hypochlorous acid before, the most frequent thing I ever hear reported is that it kind of smells like bleach. In fact, if you think it smells like bleach, go ahead and let me know. But the reality is, rest be assured, it is not bleach. It only kind of smells like bleach because they are very similar compounds. Where hypochlorous acid is an acid on the lower end of the pH scale, and bleach is actually a base on the far opposite end of the pH scale. Yay, chemistry. Now again, hypochlorous acid is excellent for treating both blepharitis as well as demodex mites. But if you don't know too much about what those are and you wanna learn some more, I do have them hooked up in an entire playlist about eyelid health and I'll hook that up here in the YouTube card above as well as in the description below. Otherwise, using hypochlorous acid solution is very easy to do because it is in a spray bottle form. You can do it through two different methods. You can either close your eyes, spray it directly onto your eyelids, and then use either a cotton ball or other lint-free cloth to go ahead and just wipe away and gently clean the eyelids, making sure to drag away along the eyelid margin right on the eyelashes away from the eye. Otherwise, you can use the method that I like to use where I spray the solution directly onto a cotton ball and then go ahead and clean each eyelid individually. I also use a different cotton ball for each eyelid. Just be sure to really get at the eyelashes themselves. Hypochlorous acid solutions such as OcuSoft's Hypochlor is found over the counter. You do not need a prescription for it and it's safe to use every single day. So if you're having problem with either blepharitis or other eyelid irritation, it is recommended that you try to keep a good eyelid hygiene regimen on a daily basis, either using something like hypochlorous acid or with other eyelid cleansing products. So eye health question of the day, do you have any other questions about hypochlorous acid specifically or what other products are you using to help keep your eyelids clean? Go ahead and comment in the section below. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. Otherwise, if you would like to catch other videos in my complete eyelid health series, go ahead and click or tap the screen up here to the side. Or if you'd like to catch another cool video from Dr. Eye Health, just click or tap the screen down over here. 
Otherwise, again, this is Dr. Joe Allen here from Dr. Eye Health, the channel that helps you with the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. Keep an eye on it, and we'll talk to you soon.